Hello and welcome to the Marine Channel. My name's Jason. Uh, now, one of the questions we often get asked is what's a really good starter boat? Now, starter boats mean different things to different people. For some people, it's a small sailboat, an open dinghy, maybe a rib. But for me, well, my starter boat was something that I could actually go off with the family, take some friends, maybe even weekend on. So if that's what you're looking for, I think we've got something that might be of interest. First of all, let me say a big thank you to our friends at Clipper Marine for giving us access to this boat. I think you're going to enjoy it. This is a Regal 2665. It's an American sport cruiser boat. 2665. So this is about 27 feet. It's under 9 meters in length overall. And this particular example is powered by a 300 horsepower Mercruiser petrol engine. Now, first thing I want to show you is this space around the aft here. So Keep reminding yourself, this is a 27 foot boat. So we've got a nice little safe transom gate there. Important if you've got kids on board or dogs uh, and people perhaps not so experienced with, uh, with boating. I'd say that that seat will definitely take three at a squeeze, but two comfortably. Decent sized table here in the middle. And then another two people sat over here. So you've immediately got good lounging space for four or five people now that table you can see that one lifts out nice and straightforward and down here on the side you can see that black handle you pull that handle out and then this seat in front here will slide and this will form a sun pad i'll show you a little clip of that works really really well so this whole area if it's perhaps just uh, a couple you can just lounge in the lovely sunshine. Now, this, this, this boat's got all these camper covers on, which are rather nice. It does mean that on a day like today, which is not the best weather, we're very warm and cozy. In fact, it's quite humid in here. It's, it's very pleasant. But with those camper covers off, this whole area is gonna be beautifully open to the sunshine. Okay, so let's just talk about the helm up here. So helm seat, double helm seat, really, really nice size, nice helm actually. Nice looking helm. Now it's single engine, so we've got the single control over there. But actually, rather nice place to sit. You'd feel really like you've uh, you've achieved something in life. Nice straightforward um, dials over here. Single engine, so we've got our rev counter on the left hand side. Our speed over here on the right hand side. Uh, this boat will do about 34 knots, so it's no slouch. So it's quite good fun actually. Uh, all the essential controls down here. You've got your trim tabs. This boat has got a bow thruster. Some people will say, oh, you know, 27 feet, why do you need a bow thruster? Well, it's just kind of useful. And if you're new to boating, it can take away some of the stress. There's nothing worse than being out for the day with friends and saying, right, we're heading home. And all the time on that journey home, worrying about having to berth it because you can see the winds getting up. Now, one thing as well with these American boats, which you don't tend to see with a lot of the European boats, is that they maximize the width inside the, the cockpit here. So, difficult to see maybe, if I just go up here, there's no, there's no sort of um, walkway down the side of the boat. In other words, they push the, the cockpit right the way out to the sides. So access to the front, to the bow, is actually up a couple of steps here. So step up there, step up here. This panel here will open. This is all high grip surface and then you walk out through to be able to deal with the anchor and so forth. It's actually, having had uh, a 30 foot American sport boat myself, it's actually very, very easy. And what you do appreciate is all this extra width that you get inside the cockpit, which means you get nice little features like this. So you've actually got a, a little sink up here as well. Um, good storage as well. I had a little look on this boat a few minutes ago and there's a massive storage bin in there for things like life jackets and fenders this particular boat's got a little uh, cool box here which is pretty good so you can put your cool beers in there and you can also see there's uh, some speakers so there's a, a decent audio system a couple here tucked away underneath there so very very nice cockpit area as i say seating for two four six people here's another surprise though let's go down the stairs and let me show you this so little galley here on the left hand side with um, uh, a burner there. No gas on this boat. A lot of people are a bit nervous about gas on boats. 
Um, this one is a ceramic hob, so nothing to worry about there. A little microwave here as well, so you can certainly cater. Decent little sink. And then down here we've got a little fridge as well. More than enough for a night aboard, or maybe even a weekend aboard. Now what's quite clever here is you've got this big U-shape. Uh, this one's actually got sort of vinyl finish to the seats, which, yeah, if you wanted to change it to something a little bit warmer, uh, a cloth or whatever, you could, of course, but actually sitting on this, uh, on this vinyl, it feels rather nice. It's in really, really good shape for a 2008 boat. And of course, it's incredibly practical. So, you know, you can wipe down things. You've got kids, spillages, all that kind of stuff. Up here, we've got a decent sized flat screen TV and plenty of light actually, even for a dull day. We've got a big porthole up here. We've got some portholes along the side here. And then again, you've got the audio speakers. Now, when it comes to nighttime, bedtime, then it's a simple case of lifting this table out here. And then actually these backs simply slide off and these become the infills for this lip here. So this area actually becomes quite an enormous double bed, which is great. Just to my right here, we've got a good size heads. I say good size, good size for a boat this size, remember, 27 feet. And you've got the uh, the spout there that links out, lifts out of the sink and can go up there. So you've got, effectively you've got a wet room, so you can shower on board as well. And here's a real big bonus. You perhaps weren't expecting this if you're not familiar with sports boats, but effectively under the sole, under the floor of the cockpit, you've got this other area, which is a decent sized double. Now, when I had a sports cruiser, this is where my son used to sleep. He loved it in here. So he felt he was still part of the family. He was close enough to mum and dad. Yes, there's a curtain that can be pulled across here um, for a bit of privacy if it is adults. But he felt he was nice and close. He could hear mum and dad. He's very, very close to the steps here. So if we were sat up on deck of an evening, he was very comfortable. But effectively, you've got two berths there and two berths there. So you've got four proper berths. You've got a decent little kitchen area and you've got a nice heads all in a boat that is <laughs> well well under 10 meters which is good news because again what that does is it gives you the opportunity if you're somewhere that has a dry stack for example and they've got a 10 meter limit uh, this boat will fit in there very very easily that can save you maintenance during the co course of the year um, saves you some costs and it means it's ready to rock and roll so thanks for watching the Marine Channel. Please subscribe and click on alerts and we'll let you know whenever we release a new video. Thanks very much. See you soon.